Do you know what you're listening to? You're listening to Thoughts of the Week. Oh, how's that? <laughs> What's up, everybody? What's going on? You are rocking with the best Thoughts of the Week. And uh, today's episode, man, you might find very interesting. I've been noticing um, lately since Trump has been president, there's been a lot of uh, white power gang members repping their set. You know what I mean? We're talking about, uh, remember the uh, Kavanaugh hearings and uh, the lady who was caught throwing up the... uh, the WP sign while the hearings were going on and then um, he had the Amber Geiger pictures that were found on social media where uh, I don't know if it was a family member of hers or a friend they was throwing up the WP as well well it turned out to be a White House member or an intern who was also repping their set with the WP sign and that's what this today's show is we're going to be talking about. All right. There there's a gang member in the White House who's throwing up the white power gang sign. All right. So kick back, relax, enjoy and check out the show. All right. Did you know that there was a gang member in the White House throwing up gang signs. But when you hear the word gang member, I'm sure you guys are automatically thinking some black guys and some gangs like the Crips or the Bloods or the Gangster Disciples or the folks or the people. But this gang I'm talking about is the alt-right. All right. So in the Daily Mail, There's an exclusive saying white power at the White House. Trump in turn flashes the alt-right symbol used by notorious extremists during group photo with the president. Now, they're going to go, of course, dress up their wording. So I'm going to say exactly what it is. Now, you see this guy in this picture here. He's throwing he has his finger in in what is kind of known as the OK sign. When people go, OK, they flash their fingers in the way you see this guy's hands are in this picture but with the alt-right when you see the okay sign the three fingers that are spread out is supposed to represent the w and then his other two fingers that's uh touching the tips for the okay sign is supposed to along with his wrist is supposed to represent the p the letter p so when you have the w with the three fingers looking like the w and the other and the other fingers looking like the letter p that stands for white power. All right. So you guys need to start researching these white extremist gangs because they do throw up signs and their signs seem to go over people's heads. You're so used to and accustomed to black gangs and what kind of signs they throw up. But being that you don't stay up on the white gangs, the white identity extremist type groups, they'll be in the White House throwing signs and, and actually speaking to each other in their hand codes and you wouldn't even know what they're talking about. All right. So this is what you're seeing in this article. So do your research. All right. So it says here, former White House intern Jack Brewer. And remember these names that I'm going to be reading, because even if you don't see him in the White House now because of something stupid they've done, trust me, they will be back somewhere. And then you have to think about think why they're back. When they done something in in whatever day and time and year and they'll still show up on the news or there'll be a news anchor or um, a columnist or something like that. All right. So former White House intern Jack Brewer held up a white power. I'm going to say they said sign. I'm going to say white power gang sign is what it is. Let's keep it 100. White power gang sign during a photo op with President Trump and fellow interns in the East Room in November. All right, Brewer made the same gesture that alt-right protesters made at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. Y'all remember that? So this guy threw up his little gang sign for white power, 
And that's the same signs those protesters used in Charlottesville. No coincidence. Brewer made the same gesture that alt-right protesters made at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, along with Richard Spencer and Milo. Um, Yiannopoulos, I think that's how you pronounce it. So remember those names. Jack Brewer, he's the one who threw up the gang signs with the in other interns in the uh, photo op picture. Remember Richard Spencer, he's, he was part of Trump's little group. And remember Milo Yiannopoulos. There's some other stuff about him. His book got rejected, by the way. He tried to put out a book. The um, the sign only works if made with the right hand. Don't 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 focus on that too much because they can do it with the left. But to make it look correct or so to speak, to see the because you read from left to right. So if they put they use their right hand to put it up, it'll look like the W and the P. All right. But don't uh, don't put too much into them saying that it only works with the right hand because they'll use the left hand, too, and throw people off. And like I said, if you don't sit there and research of even a little bit, you so much researching into black gangs, but you don't understand the white ones. They'll do stuff right in front of your face. All right. So the sign only works if made with the right hand. It is said to depict the letter W with the outstretched fingers and a P with the circle. Together, WP stands for white power and is seen in the memes of Pepe the Frog. A fellow intern told DailyMail.com, Jack's a good kid and is probably doing it as a joke. And, and keep this in mind, they are not, when you see that stuff happening, and they start trying to say, oh, we just did it as a joke. We was trying to be funny. They're not they're not doing it as a joke. They got caught. And that's what it is. All right. Somebody just figured something out or somebody told and and put everybody else up on the knowledge. They are not doing it as a joke. They are definitely speaking to each other. They're letting people know certain things. And if you don't know about it, it just goes over your head. All right. Some people do consider it a joke. But it is the OK sign. So now they try to brush it off like, yeah, he's just doing the OK sign. But I read to you earlier that they did that in the rallies in Charlottesville. It is a legitimate gang sign. And that's what it stands for. But they're trying to brush it off like, oh, he's just doing the OK sign. Brewer and an Emory University alum in his early 20s worked for Stephen Miller. That's another name you need to write down on your list. He worked for Stephen Miller, the president's senior advisor for policy for four months, starting in September. All right. A former White House intern is coming under fire after flashing a known flashing a known white power. I'm going to say white power gang sign during a photo out with President Donald Trump. Jack Brewer, who graduated from Emory University in Atlanta. This year is clearing, excuse me, is clearly bucking orders personally given by the president to give a thumbs up in the picture that was taken in the White House in November. So supposedly Trump, which I don't believe that supposedly Trump gave everybody the directive to just give a thumbs up. And so everybody else gave a thumbs up in the pictures, even some of the black black interns there that were in the picture. And this guy decided he was going to throw the white power sign trying to front it off as throwing the OK sign. While the hundred or so interns smile and follow Trump's command, Brewer, a dentist's son who grew up in Chicago's western suburbs, stands stony faced, giving the OK quotes in quotes OK sign that has been linked with far right gang groups. It is the same sign that white nationalist Richard Spencer gave on the steps of the Trump International Hotel on election night and that right wing provocateur Milo Yiannopoulos posed with in front of the White House. So you guys either pull up the videos or pull up the pictures that night, um, that election night, and you'll see Richard Spencer doing the same thing. Um, Milo Yiannopoulos threw up the same sign. So it's not a joke. They wasn't uh, making a joke. They was throwing it up, letting you know who's in charge. OK. It was also um, seen at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, in August, the same day an alleged 
Nazi sympathizer accelerated his car into anti-protesters, killing one, which was that white girl, and injuring several others. All those surrounding Brewer on the right side of the picture are using their left hands to give their thumbs up. With him, meaning Brewer, standing out by using his right hand. The gesture, which only makes sense if made with the right hand, although there are examples of people making it with their left hand, is said to depict the letter W with the outstretched middle ring and little fingers and a P with the circle made by the, th the thumb and forefinger stretching down to the wrist. Together, WP stands for white power. And here you go again. Here's a picture of the dude. And I'm going to give a little close up so you can see there he goes. And that's the sign he threw up. Everybody else has thumbs up, right? He decided to do his coded OK sign slash white power gang sign. Former White House intern Jack Brewer held up a white power sign during a photo op with President Trump and fellow interns in the East Room in November. The Emory University alum clearly bucked orders personally given by the president to give a thumbs up. All right. <clears throat> and so they circle him again. And so you guys can know exactly who it was and showing it a gang sign in particular. All right. Uh, let's see, all those surrounding Brewer on the right side of the picture are using their left hand. So pretty much they're repeating the same stuff again. And there's some more things about him, which I won't go reading. You guys continue. Go to this uh, site, DailyMail.com. And let me bring up back the uh, topic so you can see it. All right. And you can read further into it because there's more stuff about it. And there you go. That's the uh, title of the article. You guys can go ahead and read that. So they they were gang members inside the White House and they probably still are, are others. But every time they get caught, you know, they I guess they be a little bit more uh, inconspicuous. All right. So there you go. There you have it. Gang member in the White House throwing up gang sign. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So tell me, what do you think about this brewer? Brewer guy interning for the White House or in the White House throwing up the white power sign. Are you convinced? Are you not convinced? Are you surprised? Not surprised of the events that take place in the White House? Of course, under uh, 45. And um, you guys uh, let me know, man, if you are watching this on YouTube. Facebook, leave a comment under the video in the description area, and uh, let me know what you think, man, but anyway, for now, I'm going to get out of here, until next time, a new episode of Thoughts of the Week, alright, and I want to thank you guys for checking out the show on the podcast platform, as well as social media platform, I'm out of here, peace.